Hello and welcome to another, uh, you know, Geekly Inc. session where we jump in and explore a video game. A video game that maybe you or a loved one would like to play. This is Dest Top Dungeons. It was released uh, November 7th on Steam. And let me take you on a quick tour. Alright. Desktop Dungeons. Think of it as a puzzly, roguelike sort of amalgamation where you go and attack dungeons with adventurers. But you have this town here. I've. This is. I just kind of completed the first tutorial section, and now I'm actually. The more of the game is opened up. So I'll show you sort of how the game basically works. So you go to a tavern, eventually, and then you decide to go for a, a quest. Let's see, I've unlocked these four classes, and currently this one race, and I can outfit myself with a little bit of... I'm going to get a shield. And you can choose, you know, either a, or as right now, fighter, wizard, thief, or priest. And so what I'm going to do is going to select a priest, add it a shield, and let's go. So, okay, so basically, this is your map, right? Right? Then you, as the dungeon delver, has to move and try to find loot and monsters i'm level one this guy's level two so i'm gonna i'm gonna attack because i have a shield so i'm strong and as you explore new areas of the dungeon you get health and upgrades so uh here's a little potion which i'll grab uh just, right now i'm just looking for bad guys. So I killed that guy in one hit. He's nothing to me. Ooh. And the whole point, obviously, is to get treasure. And there's just a slew of different items that you can get in order to upgrade and strengthify your particular... Holy sh... A level 8. Oh my god. Wow. And... So sometimes you just gotta run away. But the problem is that you don't get any of those health points from ex exploring. So, this is actually a... Okay, so here's, I'm gonna kill Super Meat Boy. I'm gonna kill this Warlock, boom, just like that. I still didn't get hit. So I'm gonna go down over here and uh, just attack him. Oh, uh, and then I leveled up, which means <laughs> I get all my health and mana back. So far it's been a pretty quick game. They describe it as uh, the perfect coffee break, lunch break, sort of. Um, oh my gosh. I've never seen this before. It is said that the twins, Yin and Yang, are immortal. Though this is mere deception, they can be defeated by one who is swift enough. Okay. Uh, level 42. Uh, Y'all, I have no idea what to do with that, so I'm just going to run away. But now I'm on... I need to find more monsters to kill. Because that's the name of the game. Because I need gold. This has been a relatively... Um, lackluster dungeon. Everyone's either stronger than me. So you also have different powers that you randomly collect. Um... Like, this fireball here, I got for, you know, just randomly finding it. And since I'm a cleric, I do double, double the attack, which is nice. Huzzah. I, I do double attack against undead creatures. It seems somewhat tedious as you're just sort of running around and clicking both willy and nilly, but 
I found it extremely satisfying. Whoops. So I found some potions. So I'll do that. I'm gonna hit him with a fireball. Oh boy. So that leveled me up to level six. I'm very strong. Um, everyone's very proud of me. And see, this here is the the top of the map. So there's nowhere else to go. Just collected a make you stronger type situation. Oh my gosh. Those who search for secrets of banking need to prevail in not one, but two economic tom combat trials. I see that you're already purchased, prepared for this. I will not go easy on you. According to a footnote in page 16A of my contract, I'm obliged to kill you if your performance is unsatisfactory. Your exit has now been blocked. We fight to the death. Great. Boss encounters like this are recorded in the Codex, a tome of wisdom populated by the combined experiences of your kingdom's denizens. It updates whenever you find something important in the game world, like a new item or status effect. Click on the boss to open its codex entry. I've never seen this before. Um, wow. Okay. Alright. So, this gives you... This is a, a banker boss, because I need to go get a bank so I can store all my money. So he's very difficult. And this is where it has some of my other upgrade upgrades that I you can actually get in the world. Uh, these are the different magic magic glyphs that you can get, which have you know interesting effect. Uh, here's the player status stuff you can get. So like death protection, obviously. Make sure you don't die. And there's so many different one of these out there that each run is completely different. So here you have the different classes, and they give you a little background of what they are and what their pluses and minuses are. And I only have one race out of seven. How do I get more races? I want more. So, yeah, it kind of just goes through and tells you everything you can get. But, and also some of the more esteemed Kane of patrons. They might be, that might be a Kickstarter thing? I don't even know. So... Codex will become increasingly useful as you move further from the kingdom and start unlocking more exotic items and situations. Check it whenever you're, the thirst for knowledge ever comes to you. Just click on the mini button on the top right of the corner of the screen. So this actually says safe, which means it thinks I can kill it, which I think is crazy. Um, but it, I think it says it can do 42 damage against me, and I only did... I did so little. So as you move, you also get your health back as you explore new areas. But so does the um, the bad guys you're facing. So it's not as straightforward as I'll hit them then run away. So right now, the idea, I think the strategy that I need to be rolling with is... Uh, kill people and then uh, search for more areas to kill see if I can get upgrades level up to fight this uh, oh god so if I do a 4 I mean an M I get my magic back and then another 5 Shit. Okay. I, that was dumb of me. I have died. And that's the rogue-likey aspect of it, is you, you put all your heart into it. And it shows you what you get, but since I was risky, I didn't get anything. Okay, so I have 283 golds. And I can... Bronze challenge. In the, in the kingdom's seedy criminal underworld, not even the faintest whispers of fortune remain uninvestigated. It is said that Lord Sillyname possesses a mighty and unique treasure, and it is your plan to take it. Defeating this challenge will earn you 150 gold. I actually like the fighters and clerics the best, so I'm going to select the... Try it right now. So I guess these are little mini challenges, and you don't get to... I haven't done this before. I'm pretty excited. 
My gosh. Goats are usually the main bosses. Level up. So the puzzle aspect is, can you get through this uh, dungeon while not dying, figuring out the smartest way, the most efficient way, and while being hurt and exploring. Oh boy, level five, run away. Just murdering goats. The fighter is very strong, and so far they've all been female for me. Which, hey, I respect. You know me. Be a deer and strike a dashing pose, would you? I can start work on a heroic looking statue for you as soon as I get the hair out of my eyes. I said no, I really have to tie it back. I assume that's the boss for this level. So I will run away. Yes, level five. I'm the best. The fighter can also see all these little areas basically saying there is a monster there which you can attack. What is this? I'm a wall. Creates a wall on a dungeon tile. If this targets an enemy, your next kill earns 50% bonus experience. If not, too many is funded. So this one teleports them and they're like dizzy. Oh no, what just happened? Wow, that was bad. Uh, but I can just explore more and get my health back. And that's really the name of the game. Exploring while attacking and getting various upgrades. Holy. So I should be able to... And it gives you little predictions right there. Like I knew I was going to end up with one life and I was done. So it's kind of a a little bit of a gamble. Death gaze. So if I fight these guys, there's a 50% chance of instant dying. No? Thank you. Alright, alright. Ow. Whoops, didn't want to do that. Sorry. Gotta get stronger first. Alright, I'll quaff a potion. Level 7. Wonderful. Um. Gosh, this is gonna be tough. And my magic ability only shows me characters that are the same level as me or lower. So I'm gonna need to use another one of those. And then I'll die again. Gosh, I don't want to. This is this is this is hard. I'm curious if I'm up for this uh, challenge. So right now I'm sacrificing the health benefits of exploring new tiles with the hopefully um, benef gaining benefits of th these things like extra powers. Okay, so I have one health potion, four magic potions. Then if you right click on them, you can I can't do mana burn. I have no idea what that is. Hmm. So. 
Yeah. I mean, I didn't get any good potions. So... I mean, unless there's something here. Oh, I didn't get any good items to kind of... Yeah, this will kill me. God, like, just... Oh, beans. So when this guy attacks you, it takes away your mana. And she or he is actually getting very little health back. So I could almost... No, she takes off way too much health. I want to run away, but I can't. Let me leave. Um, Alright, I don't think there's any other way to do this other than to just fight to the death. Yeah, I know. I know. Alright, well that challenge was silly. But it's just such a, a one more a one more run, a one more run, a one more run situation. That's hard not to be like, uh, let me just do it again. Slash, slash, slash. Boom, boom, boom. Very strong. The best part about the fighters, he knows where bad guys are. So if you remember, if you pay attention, you can know where all the level one fellers are, and you don't have to be afraid of dying as much. Yay, level four. I honestly do sometimes wish, oh, health pendant, wonderful. I'm going to be very strong. And this is just a... How you say... A, lo a looter's dungeon. We're just here to... Get fat loot. Level 4. Killing all these people is so much fun. It really does make me feel like the strongest person in the world. And plus, you know, uh oh, you have the suicidal gall to cross my path, challenger. Will look well upon me, for this is the last time your eyes will ever see the world through anything but a blinding red ooze. I'll plunge my sword into every inch of your feeble flesh until you scream blood and cough up bone shards. You'll be battered so ferociously that you'll beg the god of death himself to burn and consume your soul before I have the pleasure of wrenching it from that wet crimson bed of your corpse. Face me, laughable hero. If the universe has any mercy, I will strike you down at this very moment and spare me the raw delight of making you history's most dire warning to adventurers everywhere. That guy laid it on a little thick. Like, I get it, you know? He's, he's powerful, but he can't be that powerful. Does he know who he's dealing with? Me. Oh, dope. Okay, so now I have... I had too many things, so I want to get rid of one of them. So now I have plus two mana, plus ten health, plus four damage. I am 
I am looking pretty good right now. Level 7. Get out of my house. Let's see if there's anything, any upgrades here. Grant you first strike in your next combat round and 5% dodge chance. Uh, I'm going to sell it. Well, I know there's a level 6 guy here, so I'll bash him. Level 7. Ooh, level 5. Good. Another level 7. So... Let's, let's give him two slashes. Hmm. I guess I'll go here. Fight another level 7. I'll start with a... Perfect. Um, I need a little more... So this guy's level 8, just like me. And once I finally start to boost your next melee attack... Oh, I want that. So I'm gonna get... Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of this. Wait. I have to... So that gives me an extra, extra bit of um, attack power. Because once I get in battle with this guy, I'm not going to leave. I'm going to see it to its bloody end, as they say. So I want to go everywhere and make sure I have everything. Okay, so... That was the first hit. So what I'm gonna do is shoot him with fire. And I'm just gonna shoot him with fire again. Uh I'm gonna use a health potion because Wonderful, you goblin fool. How dare you attack? just act like such a rude rude dude okay well i think that's a pretty decent intro into how desktop dungeons works i'll probably hop back in a little bit later after i built up my town a little bit more get some goodies and see where it takes you much less of a let's play through the entire thing together but more like hey progress checks uh thank you for watching be sure to like subscribe tell your friends about it and you know what Maybe head over to Steam to see if you yourself want to check out Desktop Dungeons. I don't know. I think it's super fun. But who knows where the game's going to go. Alright, cool. Bye!